This video is a long overdue review of my Trading212 account. Before you click off thinking this is a scam, I'll explain what I've been doing. I know this is not a photography or Instagram video, which is what you subscribed for, but I want to show you that you can have other hobbies other than photography. About a year ago, I opened an account with Trading212, which offers zero commission trades on the stock market, where in the past you had to pay 10 or 20 pounds to a broker or a bank for each trade and that meant you had to be serious about trading now with companies like trading 212 and invest engine you can make trades for free i decided to invest 200 pounds no more and i plan to buy shares in companies up to the value of 50 pounds and when they gain two pounds or four percent i'd sell them and that's pretty much what i've been doing over the last year Let's have a look at my account on my computer and I'll show you where it stands. So here's my lead trading 212 account and currently I only own five different companies, shares in five companies and I just slightly changed my strategy. I'm still buying shares up to the value of £50 and selling them when they hit uh, positive £2 but there are a couple of shares that I've decided to keep a bit more long term. I'll explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing that. So I've got British American Tobacco there, currently 81 pence down. Imperial Brands there, up £2.25, so that's quite a good positive return. PayPal, uh, they're just sat there doing nothing. Uh, Persimmon, which is a building company, and they're up by £1. And Primary Health Properties, which is a, a, a healthcare company, they are down £1.84. So what I've actually decided to do, rather than sell, uh, as an example, Imperial Brands, I'm, I'm keeping hold of British American Tobacco and, and Imperial Brands uh, because I will show you my history of what my account's been doing and hopefully that you'll, that'll show you what I, I'm, I'm doing now. So I click on my history and uh, what you can see is that for British American Tobacco, I've gained £1.80 dividend and also for... Um, uh, Imperial Brands, I gained £1.55 dividend. So what my strategy is now, at least, or part of my strategy, is that I'm going to hold on to these two companies because every three months they give out a dividend around about 50 pence per share. So if you think about it, I own three shares in British American Tobacco, so every three months I will gain £1.50, so that's going to be £6 per year. And if I just sit and hold them, for six, I'll get £6 per year. So it, it yeah, it's much better than buying and selling at £2. So I know every uh, four months I'm going to get £2. So I keep that. And likewise, Imperial Brands, they do the same. So they give around about 50p per share um, every three months. So I'm going to... I've, so what I've actually done is bought another share in each of these companies, whereas in the past I had two British American tobacco shares and three Imperial Brands. I paid an extra about £25 per share for one of each so now i own three and four so i'm expecting they're going to just give me slightly more dividends and i'll my account will keep growing it makes it it's quite a nice way to keep your account moving obviously dividends are not guaranteed and some years they're higher and some years they're lower but in this instance that the forecast is a positive forecast over the next 12 months and just in the last sort of 24 hours the latest statistics for the UK economy has come out and the UK economy is growing quite nicely now so there's it, the signs are positive the green shoots are out there so I'm hopeful that this is going to do well uh, so persimmon uh, and uh, primary health uh, I'm just keeping hold of those until they go to a two pound positive and my strategy says that I don't need to sell I'm not really doing this to make big money I'm just doing this for fun and I'm going to keep hold of these shares until they go positive two pounds and then i'll sell uh, and if it takes six months if it takes six years i'm not going to sell them at a loss i'm going to sell them up a profit so going back to what i've been up to over the last um, few months since i made my last video as i said i've got a dividend from a uh, british american tobacco i've got a dividend from west bank but uh, i sold those shares i sold my shares in bae systems and um, i um got more dividends i sold my shares in natwest bank so i natwest bank was minus 14 pounds and i ended up selling them 
positive three pounds eighty, and I decided to sell them because I heard that the UK government uh, in the summer were going to sell its stake in Natworth Bank. So as soon as it did that, the the, the price would have gone down. But I don't think they are now. So it, 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 that it, and since then, Natwest has gone up, 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 and hit the roof. So that was a mistake. But I still gained nearly four pound for those. Uh, so Nvidia, I had a little experiment with Nvidia. Nvidia was that the 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 number one company in the whole world that was going up, up, up. So I thought I'd ride the crest of the wave, um, and, and I almost made a mistake. I ended up making about forty pence, uh, but I could have lost a lot of well, up to ten pounds of money. So. That was a bit of a gamble, really, to be honest. And uh, as you can see, I have been receiving dividends from primary health uh, properties, etc. More dividends for British American Tobacco, more dividends for NatWest, uh, National Grid, etc. Uh, so, in in a way, the, the 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 account's gone very well. I've been gaining dividends. I've been buying and selling shares at a profit, and it, it's going well. Uh, and in truth, I only uh, sort of look at this trading once a day at the most and I'm only investing at the right time so I don't buy and sell shares very often I don't do much to this account it sits there and and I just sell at when when I hit two pounds or when the value is high enough that I think it's the right time to sell so what my next intention is when these persimmon shares I think when they go up to about one pound fifty because I only bought 28 pounds worth so it's not like 50 so 50 pounds is four percent so currently as you can see it's three pound sixty. So when that goes up to about five percent, I'm going to sell those, and then I'm going to add that money to the pot that I've got, and I'm going to use that, and I'm possibly going to buy some Drax shares, which are a um, a renewables company. So how is my account doing now compared to how it was um, a couple, two or three months ago? And let's have a look. So the last time I had a video. I think my account was about two hundred and fifty pounds. In fact, it was two hundred and forty-seven pounds and thirty-six pence. Now, if I sold everything right now, my account would be two hundred. Well, I sold everything right now and closed this. I would get back two hundred and sixty-eight pounds and forty-five pence. So that means I'll have gained on my two hundred pounds sixty-eight uh, pounds, which is great. Which is effectively, you could argue. That's that's thirty four percent in the last year I've gained. Obviously, that's through hard work or well, some work, um, keeping a track on the stock market and selling the shares at the right time. But that's where I am. So that's where uh, my account is now, and I'm really pleased with what what I've been doing. The return I've had. Thank you very much indeed for watching this video. I hope it's been informative and and not too dry. Once again, thank you very much indeed, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.